We're looking at the new image optimization plugin by Elemental. Hey, look, we all want to have high resolution images on our WordPress websites. Why wouldn't you? You don't want them to be blurry or pixelated, but at the same time, you don't want them to be really slow or laggy when they load. Imagine you got a home page with 20 images and they're all 10 megabytes each. Why would you have them that big? But let's pretend you did. It's going to lag and slow and your users are not going to like you for that and they're going to jump off elsewhere. So what we need to start thinking about is compressing those images, but without losing too much quality. And this is where the Elemental plugin comes in. So let's go and have a look at it for the very first time. This is no rehearsal. You're getting first look at the same time as me. I'm using a free trial and it does say to you that you're allowed 100 image credits for this to test it out. And let's just go and find out what that means. Every image that you compress is going to take up five credits. So because we start off with 100 for the free trial, that is 20 images. Now what you do do have to bear in mind though is that WordPress can create multiple images when you add them to your media library and this is where I would say go and adjust your WordPress media settings and zero out maybe the medium and large you might want to keep the thumbnail just to reduce how many credits you use when you try this out but I'll explain that a little bit more when we actually get onto the website so what are the benefits lossless lossy compression backup to restore images you know when you drag images into your media library and you crop and scale them it's always good to know you've got that step to go back if you need to. You can resize large images. Obviously, it's going to convert them into WebP and you can do bulk conversions as well. Let's go and install the plugin. I've already got hold of it. Once that's activated in your WordPress media, you'll now notice image optimizer and bulk optimization. Now, what we are going to do is first go and hit connect to start. It's just like when you connect your Elemental website, you just go and click it and it connects to your account. It's that quick and easy. I've activated this on my test website that I've been using for many years for tutorials and I've got 792 unoptimized images. I could click this button and go and optimize them, but I don't want to do that because remember, we only have 100 trial credits. Let's go over the settings. Do you want to go for lossy or lossless compression? This is down to the quality of the image after it's gone through the compression. Lossy is going to mean that you lose a little bit of quality, but it's never that much of an issue, to be honest, and I would tend to go for lossy. Lossless means you kind of maintain the quality, but lossless means it is going to be a bigger size. So I would recommend you go for lossy, but do test them out. Do you want to optimize new uploads? That kind of does make sense so that, you know, maybe if you're sharing this website with other people, maybe it's a directory, people are going to drag images into the media line library or maybe it's a file upload or anything like that, having it optimized is a good idea. That being said, though, it might depend on how many credits you have at your disposal, but we're going to leave it on for now. Do you want to resize large images? So let's say photographers, they are quite guilty of this. They will send you images that are 10,000 by 5,000 pixels. They never need to be that big. And you might want to say that if you go and send through an image and it is really big, resize it to be a maximum of 1920, or maybe you want it small. Maybe you're just going to let people upload images, maybe team members, and they're only ever going to be like thumbnail. So you might say, make sure it's never more than say three or 400 pixels in width. I would definitely get rid of the EXIF metadata. It's more important to have your correct alt image description. That's got your main keyword smuggled into it somewhere in there. But over here, I don't need to know about the date and time and location of when you took that photograph. Convert to WebP is probably the most important setting here. Imagine you've got a PNG image that is one megabyte. A JPEG version of that might be half a megabyte. The WebP version might be 50 to 100 kilobytes in size. It could be 5 to 10 percent. So you can see the difference in size, storage space, and what is being rendered and loaded on your home or any other page of your website. You may need to check with your host provider. There are some, a minority of providers out there that will not allow any WebP conversions to happen happen on their host provider. And quite frankly, if you've got any host provider that does not have that facility, I recommend you to move on to a different provider. Hey, maybe go for Elemental Hosting. And I mentioned earlier about WordPress media creating alternate versions of your images when you load them up at different sizes. Do you want this to optimize for all of them or only a few? So you could go and mess this around. I'm going to go with the thumbnail, but I will untick all of these because they're just not needed. Just want to point something out. If you go over to 
settings and go to media, my thumbnail size for width and height is left at 150, but I have zeroed out the medium and large. And if you leave the values in here, when it goes to do the conversion, it will do it for those sizes as well. So that is going to eat into your credit. Now we do have some advanced options down here as well, which for the purpose of this video, we don't need to worry about, but you can basically see what it's doing for you. That's basically it. But before we add in images, we do have bulk optimization. So we know there's 792 images that are unoptimized. You can go and hit start and it's going to bulk optimize them all for you. But remember how many credits you have. Let's test this out. We're in the media library. Now I've gone and removed some images, but I also added in six PNGs as well. I first deactivated the plugin. So I wanted these images to come in with their big sizes, three megabyte, two megabyte. Uh, there you go. We got a one megabyte, one nine twenty by 1080. So these are added into our media without the plugin being activated. And when the plugin's activated and you go to your image, there is an option to optimize now. So let's take this one, three megabyte, one seven nine two by 1024. Let's hit optimize now. And we're now told that two images have been optimized. That's the original and the thumbnail. Remember we went and set that so that the medium and large was zeroed out. And we also adjusted the custom sizes to only do the thumbnail and obviously the original as well. And here's the WebP version of the image. I can tell you now, it has not lost any of the detail. This is the lossy conversion, not the lossless. This is the lossy, which is what I recommend you go for. And if you want to see what the new size is, jump back into your media library, go back into the image and you'll now see the new size. This was a three megabyte image. It is now 106 kilobytes. And I think that's roughly three, and a bit percent. Well, that is a huge major difference. Imagine there were 10 of these images. That's 30 megabytes. If they all compress to be 106 kilobytes ish, that's one megabyte. 30 megabytes versus one megabyte. Do I need to explain that anymore? And you're going to get that conversion whether you do it to an existing image or you go and add one in directly to your media library. So this is super, super cool. However, an improvement that I would like to see is how many credits are remaining because nowhere on here does it tell me that of the 100 you've got say 95 or 94 left we need to have something that kind of shows us what is remaining or what's been used or well, maybe it is then I just can't find it I don't know if you know where it is point it out to me in the comments and what happens if you need more credits or you run out during the trial well then you gotta upgrade and subscribe and these are the plans that are currently available I have to be honest I did not see Elemental releasing a plugin for this so this is a little bit surprising hey I'm Imran web squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'd love to know your comments. See you soon.